Hello, now I know this video is not going to be for everyone, but I thought I would share with you something I needed to work on the other day on a client site that we're building at the moment. And that was I needed to use the advanced custom field pros repeater fields with Beaver Thema. Now, first, just to mention that Beaver Thema doesn't as yet natively support this type of field, but it doesn't matter because there is a free plugin on the WordPress repository called the custom content shortcode plugin that allows us to use shortcodes to get around this. And this is mentioned on the Beaver Builder knowledge base over here. And it points you to the place on this particular plugin where there's really good instructions. But if you're like me, easily confused, then this might be helpful to you. Okay, so let me just show you what we're working on. And it might be helpful for anyone who's not familiar with advanced custom fields. So I'm creating a site at the moment that's based around furniture products. I needed to create a custom post type for those products and I've assigned a theme layout to products called product single square and you're presently viewing my test product. Now what the client needed to do here was to be able to add more or less of these product feature icons which are images and to be able to change the text underneath these. So as you can see here, this is an icon for weight, but depending on the product, the text is going to need to be different and probably the same with the guarantees over the products. Plus they might need to in the future add other feature icons as well. So I thought, well, the only way they're going to be able to do this from the back end or the easiest way to give that flexibility is to use ACFs repeatable fields, which I love. So if you're not familiar with this plugin at all, let me just mention that ACF is a free plugin on the repository. But if you need to use this particular flexible field, you'll need to get the pro version, which if you're a developer is not too expensive. It costs a hundred Australian dollars for unlimited sites for life. So quite good investment there. And also let me just show you the other plugin, the free plugin we're using custom content shortcodes on the repository here. Okay, let me go now and show you what this looks like from the back end from the client's point of view. I'll go into this particular test product here. I've got some other ACF fields running for slider gallery and some other things, but here is where it starts and you can you know add in your own text on this and i'll show you this in a minute i've set this up as a table so on the left it's showing the images and on the right they can change their text content and it's really nice that you can kind of just put your own text as well in the button which i've made add new feature and when they do that they click on it brings up these new rows and they could just add in the image they want as you can see here most of the images are grayed out and that's because I was able to set the maximum size that could be uploaded here. So I've set it to 120 pixels height and width. So it's only showing the images that correspond with that. I'm not going to insert one there. And then they just need to add in their text and they can delete and add as they like. I like that, are you sure? So I'm gonna remove that there. Also, I love this as well. They can sort these by just simple drag and drop as they like and then just update the post and that's done. So I really like the interface here. Let me show you that. I've also opened that up on the tab as well. So we'll go into my custom fields here. I'm in my product groups where as I mentioned, I've got other fields as well. But this is the field that I set up for product features. Um, for the short codes later, you'll probably just need to note this. This is called the field name here is product underscore features for my repeater field. And I've got these sub fields for the image and for the text area called feature icon and feature underscore copy because we need those for the short codes. Let me just show you while I'm here as well where I set up. Things. So as I say, at each point here, you can add in instructions, determine whether it's required so they can't skip over it if you don't want them to do that. 
I've also set this for preview size here. This isn't perfect. I've put thumbnail, which is just the default from WordPress at 150. And if I just go to the edit there, that's showing 150 there. So I could change that like to 120 if I wanted. Um, and this is where I've set the maximum size that can be uploaded there. And we can also set things like the file types and add other conditional logics and all that kind of stuff. And as you can see over here, I've also set this to table so that I have the left and right. I could have it as rows or as a block there. Okay, so that shows the back end. I just kind of really love ACF for those kind of touches. I think it's really nice for the client. Okay, let me move on now to the, the main reason for this um, is setting up that in the template itself. But perhaps first, I'll just go over to what you see with the custom content shortcode plugin. So once you go and load that in, you go to the section here to their settings and there's a lot of instructions here but we're looking for the advanced custom field support so i'm going to click through to that and when that comes up we've got the option for repeater here and it's you know, the instructions are there it's a really good plugin for that now i only got a little bit confused about what needed to go in here so i've set up my example and i'll just show you it from my page let's go back to the template so I've added this in with a HTML module because that's perhaps the easiest to work with. And all we needed was the shortcode here with a beginning and an end, uh, which is on the example there. I just needed to know that my repeater name was the one that I mentioned earlier, product underscore feature. And for the image, I needed to put this in. Now this one thing I got a little bit confused about was that all you, you normally need is field and then the name of that. But uh, because it said image, I wondered whether I needed to put text for the text one. You don't, it's only with image because if you don't put image, it will show you the information on the image. So give you the URL. And you can also put in a parameter here. I put in it's unnecessary thumbnail, but that means that it's only going to show the thumbnail size in WordPress, but of course, my actual size is, is smaller than the thumbnail here. But should I have not set that, you can set that parameter there. So it's really easy to set up here. And I just wanted to show you my live example. And of course, here I was able to wrap this in a span class, which I've called single feature because I wanted these to be styled with CSS so they could show horizontally. And that's what I've done. And I think that probably is all that you need to know. Let me just go over to the page I've set up. So on my thema.beaverjunction.com site, I've set up this page with my example over here. And that gives the information. Once this site's live, I'll maybe give a URL so you can see it against this information. But just so you can see how this one's working and i've also shared the css that i've used to lay out those in horizontal direction and i think that's probably all i need to show you in this video i hope it's someone finds some use in this i know it's a very minority thing but uh, if you've not used acf before maybe that's of interest as well anyway if you did like this video then please give me a thumbs up because i think i'm going to need them and if you like these kind of videos then please subscribe to my channel and i hope to talk to you again soon thank you Bye bye